How's it going guys? Uh, happy Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever day I upload this, whatever day you see this. Happy day. Hope you guys are having a, um, uh, hope you guys are having a good day. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, my EDC, my everyday carry, the things that I carry with me everywhere I go. If I ever leave my- you want some coffee? What? No, you want some, you want some no, I don't. Thank you though. I am trying to make a video. Yeah. Though, if you don't, if you don't mind. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I yeah. So today we're talking about my EDC, the things I carry with me everywhere I go. If I'm leaving my apartment for any reason at all, these. Are, dude. I'm. I'm Come making. I'm trying to make coffee. Go. Yes. Yes. Are you I'm, serious? I'm very serious. Dude. Come on, go. But no, I'm just trying uh, to make. You're done. No, I'm trying to make a video, and you see that. Go. Why are you Come on. You're always complaining yep. about stuff. All right. Yep. Just uh, just stay in there. Be quiet. We're talking about my everyday carry. Intro. Oh yeah, I'm always down for coffee. All right, so before we get to talking about what is my EDC, let's talk about what is EDC. Because I've had a couple of people here recently ask me, what does that even mean? Like I've seen that on Instagram and I've seen it on YouTube, but I don't even know what EDC is. So I'm going to educate you really quick. EDC. EDC stands for Everyday Carry. Really simple, just the things that you're always carrying with you. If you're leaving your house, if you're leaving your apartment, if you're leaving your studio, for any reason, you're taking these things with you. These things will always, always, always be with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just get on the list and explain to you guys everything that I carry with me. All right, so first things first, and you really may not think this is very fair, but it will be, because this is my video and it could be fair if I want it to be, but the first thing on the list is this, my camera bag. Legitimately, I carry this thing everywhere I go. You can ask my wife if you would like. If I'm going to the grocery store to buy a bag of tortilla chips, that bag goes with me. I take my camera bag everywhere I go. It never fails. Even if I never use anything in that bag, that bag is always with me because I always wanna have my camera in case there's a, a photo opportunity or a video opportunity that maybe I couldn't capture the best with my phone. I wanna have my camera, I wanna have my gear. I gotta have my stuff with me. So camera bag, that's number one. It goes everywhere. I take that thing everywhere. I toss it in the back of my car. This thing has been through more than you can possibly imagine. Rain, snow, dust, dirt, all of it. Camera bag goes with me everywhere, number one. Number two. My keys, I take these little bad boys with me everywhere I go, it never fails. Even if I'm going down to like grab something from my car, well obviously I would take my keys because I need my keys to get into my car, but even if I'm going on a trip and I'm not taking my car, I, I still take my keys everywhere I go. I clip them on my belt loop with this here little carabiner. Funny story, if I can get it off. I've been carrying keys every day of my life on this teeny tiny little carabiner since I was 14. This carabiner, exactly, the little spring in it doesn't work as well as it used to be, and believe it or not, it used to be black at one time, but all the paint has worn off, and part of me kind of wants to get another one, get a better one, maybe a brass like leather hook or something like that that would look a little better, but the other half of me is kind of like, I mean, this little guy's been through a lot together. It hasn't broken in all these years, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, keys. That's number two, moving on. Alrighty, next up on the list, my cell phone. I don't go anywhere without my phone, uh, just because I constantly need it. I'm constantly involved in text messages and emails, and I'm always on Instagram posting photos and talking with people and that sort of stuff, so my phone is always charged, it is always with me. Um, and as some of you probably remember from a more recent video, I've got this here dope-tastic uh, phone case by a company called Pataka. This is the Pataka Mag case. It is uh, made out of Kevlar, so it's really durable. It lips up over the screen, so whenever I 
set it face down. It doesn't set on the screen, it's actually setting on the case. I love this thing. It's slim, it's minimal, it doesn't slip out of my hand, it protects the camera. Love this little case. Thank you again to the people at Pataka for sending me this case to talk about. Shameless plug. Alrighty, next up, we have my wallet. Now, my last video was actually about this wallet and the reason I put this video off so long is because I wanted to get this wallet before I talked about it. But this is my teeny tiny little Johnny wallet by Loyal Strickland. Now, they're not paying me to say this, they didn't send me the wallet for free or anything like that. I just happened to see one of these on Instagram, thought it looked really sweet and so yeah, I picked one up and I am super loving this little wallet. I mean, Oh, it still smells so good. I love the smell of leather, but this is just a sweet, teeny tiny little minimal wallet. You carry your cards right there in that little pocket and you put your cash right there. And it's uh, just teeny tiny little minimalist. I'm all into like minimalist, just, you know, everyday carry, make life more simple. Uh, Loyal Strickland Johnny Wallet. This color is called Tobacco. I'll link all this stuff down below, by the way, all of these various things that I'm showing you guys in this video. I'll put all the links down below so you can go find some of these things if you're interested. Um, and if you're not, then, you know, just, you know, don't, don't go down there. Alrighty, next up, my sunglasses. These are uh, the new Wayfarers by Ray-Bans. Now, I love these sunglasses for a lot of reasons. I'm a big black on black person. I, I love black, uh, just things. And to me personally, I feel like the new Wayfarers look best on me. Um, they're just, they're the best shape, they're the best look. And I got the black on black again because, you know, I like black on black. Now, uh, I can already see people in the comments saying, why did you pay so much money for a pair of sunglasses? And honestly, I like these sunglasses because they're durable. I've been through a lot of pairs of these sunglasses, probably four or five in the last two or three years, because I am really hard on everything that I own, but I really, really, really love these sunglasses. So uh, yeah, and these, again, these are the new Wayfarers. They have like the OG Wayfarers, and then they have the new, these are the new ones. And yeah, I love these little guys. All right, next up, probably one of my favorite things that I carry, a pocket knife. So this is the Kershaw 1830 ODSW. Now, ooh, I almost just cut my finger off right there. Did you see that? Now, I love this little guy. Um, my only beef with it is that I wish it was black on black, like I just said. This color is actually called Drab Olive, and it is just that, it's drab. It's just not a very good looking color. It's not really my favorite, but to be honest, I didn't pay for this knife. This knife was actually given to me. And it used to have a little clip on it to where you could clip it down in your uh, in your pants, but I took the clip off because it was it was bending out and it was catching the, the tail of all of my shirts and ripping holes in all of them. So I took the clip off and I actually like it without the clip a lot. It just makes it a little bit easier to kind of handle when I'm uh, when I'm opening boxes or I'm cutting zip ties or whatever. My, my job requires me a lot of times to end up cutting zip ties, cutting gaffers, tape, that sort of thing. So it's almost essential to carry uh, uh, carry a pocket knife with you and the one-handed open is just like I mean that's just you know you gotta have that you gotta have it it just makes life so much easier so anyways yeah this is the Kershaw 1830 ODSW but if you you know anyways again link down and buy it I just hit my phone screen with that don't tell my wife next up these little bad boys. Now these are my headphones, but they're actually stage in-air monitors. Uh, so these are the Shure SE215. These are clear uh, in-air monitors. Now I like these because um, they're very, 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 very good at noise canceling. That, they're actually designed to be used on stage for musicians and vocalists, and if maybe you run front of house at an arena or uh, uh, something to that effect. They're, they're designed to cancel out noise and give you like total isolation, and they do it very well. Now this is kind of on their lower end of, uh, of their in-ears. These are the 215s, they're not very expensive, they're probably 100 bucks, but to be honest, they sound really great. This is a braided cable, so it doesn't rip or tear very easily. These things last forever, I mean, they and they sound really good because they're designed for musicians. So, 100 bucks, these little guys, they go with me everywhere. I take these little guys literally everywhere I go just because I'm always listening to music on my phone with the little dongle, or I'm working on my laptop, or something to that effect. So, these little guys, yeah, the Shure SE215s, again, down, I'm, do I need to say it again? Do I? They might, are you really gonna make me say it again? It's down in the bio. You wanna find these? Link's down in the bio. You're welcome. 
no one's clapping. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. You enjoyed seeing what I carry with me on a day-to-day -day basis when I go to work, when I go to the grocery store, when I go to the coffee shop, all those sorts of things. So um, if you like this video, please like, you know, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all those fun things. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will plan to see you in the next one, whenever that is. It should, I think there's, yeah, I've got another one planned for this weekend, so uh, you'll probably see me again this weekend. All right, you guys have a good day.